what is popping y'all welcome back to my channel so we are about to get into glee out of context season two i did season one if you guys want to go check that out go ahead and scurry on over to that video and look at that one um so yeah this is glee out of context season two so without further ado y'all let's hop straight into the video Hi, I'm Jacob Ben Israel with Glee's Big Gay Summer with all the Glee Club dish you're dying to know. This room looks like the one on that spaceship <laughs> where I got probed. I have no idea what's going on in this script, and it's not in a cool Inception kind of way. No straight boy dyes his hair to look like Linda Evangelista circa 1993. Mr. Kurtama? Dude, why don't you just tell us you wanted to pray in Muslim? I'm gonna take your house, your car, your extensive collection of vests. I mean, seriously, you wear more vests than the cast of Blossom. Normally you dress like the fantasy of a perverted Japanese businessman with a very dark, specific fetish. Oh, Wanky, wanky. Is this real life? Mary Todd Lincoln in the house. My husband was probably gay, and I'm bipolar, which makes me yell things like, that teapot spreading lies about me, or, <coughs> it can't be my baby because I don't love it. I suggest selling yourself on Craigslist under the heading of men seeking men with butt chins. Amazing. Gay. 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 Oh my gosh! I opened my mouth and a little purse falls out. It's okay. I'm bad. Get in there. Right now, I'm tempted to sell your scalp on the black market as a tiny full-length shearling coat for only the most fashionable of premature babies. I got punched in the face. Anyway. You know what this is? Toilet brush. Are you on anything? <laughs> Toilet brush? This what? is trippy. You smell homeless, Brett. Homeless. Just know you have rights. All I can say okay. is I didn't steal that soda machine, and if I did, I wasn't alone. Hey, I'll bring him to work with me. Weekends, I volunteer at a stray cat rescue. <laughs> it's at the bottom of a coal mine. No, that was a joke. I, I don't. I don't work at a coal mine. You're so on my list, Dwarf. And there was only one match for Sue Sylvester. One Sue Sylvester. The Christmas gift to each other was rabies. Would you mind if I borrowed one of your rafters so I could hang myself? I've been drinking a lot of bleach. Not even the can't lose combination of boobs and fire can get me going anymore. Are you looking for teaching at a place where pencils aren't primarily used as weapons? This morning I woke up and decided to swallow the sun. My James Your nickname is Panda Express. But I'm not Chinese. Neither is the food at Panda Express. Is there protein powder in this movie? <laughs> That's my favorite one. <laughs> and a wee bit of placenta. Legend oh, has I love that one. My mother, I told the nurse she was fat. You're a really horrible person, you know that? <laughs> you sound like my court appointed therapist. My husband is verbally <laughs> abusive, and I have been drinking since noon. Okay. I'm bored. Let's just see who won, huh? This is a song that I wrote for Sam. It's called Trouty Mouth. Wait, what's it called? Trouty Mouth. Today was the day where you were going to teach me all about brunch. Oh, but you have in a sec. <sighs> oh, where am I? I like my enemas piping hot. What? What are you doing? Throwing sticks at your head? Wait. Cucumbers can give you AIDS? Before we start, I would like to say I am not a witch. I have razor blades hidden in my hair. I want to talk about the rumor about Asian men. <laughs> this Where is so you random. Your balls. Think about how many more years you have left of productive ovulating. I've got a gay. Go. Go, I've got to go. You know what I call an afternoon where I'm getting drunk? An afternoon. Are you playing Angry Birds? Sandbags. Slap yourself with a chicken cutlet. Now slap Brittany. The guy who lives next Where door did you finally get a chicken killed off his elderly from? mother. Never actually almost killed a civil servant before. Um, did I hear something about a substitute? <gasps> Nothing says bienvenidos quite like a buttered floor. Ooh. I mean, do I look like a damn baby bird? Mr. Shoe's the only teacher at this school that ever really touched me. Besides Mr. Ryerson. Wait, I'm in my tidy whities It looks like a Jewish cloud. Well, it's not that <laughs> it's bad it's paradise. At least it's not for me. She looks so uncomfortable. <laughs> Off, egg your car, cut class, break into your car, throw spitballs, put an alligator in your car, 
And I don't even have a nice car. Well, he's not coming in anytime soon. I said, say my name. Go scream at some fatties. Please tell me that is a roll of certs in your pocket. Another cricket that reads to me and I just totally stealing my jewelry. Which is why I just prefer to think of the homeless as outdoorsy. I don't want to die yet. At least not until One Tree Hill gets canceled. You're lucky I left my blowgun at home airbags because I got a clear shot uh, at your the nose. The homeless <laughs> is outdoorsy. Why are you talking to Can me? Can I say hello? I guess I just, Santana told me never to speak alone with you because you try to steal all of my gold. Okay, um... I'd say bye, but I wouldn't want to make you angry. So, why are we sitting on the floor? Because <laughs> we're in Japan. If it isn't Tweedle dumb and Tweedle fake boobs. Team Gay, we may now proceed to the next checkpoint without fear of violence. Why are you speaking so loud? I'm the Law & Order prom queen candidate. Here to protect every student at this school from harassment. Did she? I'm, I'm walking away from you now. My Power Rangers got married and divorced in so many combinations, they were like Fleetwood Mac. You guys have a hole to fill, and I'm just trying to help fill it. Wanky. Where are you going? To show everyone how hot and sexy I am. I'm not tossing the baby out with the bathwater here. I've totally done that. Lego my ego. How come all the gay guys always get the hottest chicks? For a while, I thought you were a robot. I'm not saying that. I like to preserve you in a jar <laughs> in my basement. No, like seriously, you can totally drill me whenever. Santana! You... How has life changed since the birth of your bastard child? The day when parents encourage little boys to dress like little girls and little girls to dress like whores. It tastes like pig! It tastes like pig! I have a question. Are you single? Uh, I'm not gay. I don't care. You're hunky and I'm what they call predatory gay. My lips are sealed. Thank you. Just like your legs. Oh, <laughs> kidding! God, that was rude. Why did I say that? You know, I sat through that whole broke back mountain. From what I gather, something went down in the tent. I'm a closet lesbian <laughs> and a judgmental bitch, which means one thing. I have awesome gaydar. Honey badger, I am lactating with rage! Sue. Wake up, Sue. Sue, wake up. I don't feel a pulse. She doesn't have a pulse. Oh, no. Yeah, I do. Oh. What do you want for Girl, her? I'll what? give you anything. I'll give you my house. I'll kill my parents and I'll give you my house. Well, don't just stare at me like a donkey with a wooden leg. So what are you going to be for Halloween this year? I'm going as a peanut allergy. You and I are a little bit more similar than you think. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say. I don't mean to be a bitch. Well, yeah, actually, I do. People thought I went on vacation, but actually I spent the summer lost in the source. You think your kids can manage life without their daddy? We're okay, maybe you are straight. What? I realize you're only half orangutan, but I'm still very allergic to your lustrous ginger mane. ¿Cuántas veces ha asistido Lindsay Lohan en rehabilitación? Cinco veces. Cinco! Dr. Scott! Janet! Dr. Scott! Finn's like Janet! I'm so bored, I just fell into a micro sleep. Brad! Rocky! Uh, Janet! Dr. Scott! Still being Finn. Janet! Brad! None of this is plausible! <laughs> Rocky! Uh, Janet! Dr. Scott! Finn's line. Janet! Brad! Rocky! Uh, this play has incredible pacing problems. You used to be just sort of unlikable, <laughs> but now I pretty much feel like punching you every time you open your mouth. What's up, my hot little Jewish American princess? They say that the best time to start any business is during a recession. I don't know why or even what a recession is, but it's my understanding that we're in one. He's so smart, I, I can't believe he plunked out of college. I don't even remember putting that in there. The health and wellness teacher's out with a mad case of the herp. Yikers. Tim, mm. did you hear about that swarm of Africanized killer bees? Oh, wouldn't it be awful to see an entire town overrun by killer bees? I'm sorry, did you just say, Tim, an entire town overrun by killer bees? Well, I... 70% of all <laughs> teeth in this school are wooden. <laughs> In Mr. Schuster's absence, I'd like to go around and ask everyone what solos they'd like to hear me perform at sectionals. All right, you know what? Let me in! Oh, oh, oh. Go ahead and <laughs> This will cool you down a little bit. You know what kind of disgusting images I'm gonna have to look at to get this out of my head? I'm gonna have to go straight to the wound care center. I'm gonna have to stare at some wounds. 
Are you guys all gay? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. You have weird puffy pyramid nipples. They look like they're filled with custard. My nose is still Ooh. filled with the acrid stench of teen vomit. And there is simply but one person to blame. The alcoholic teen vomit fetishist, Will Schuster. What did you do with all that breast milk? Because my name is also Britney Spears. <laughs> what? What the hell is she talking about? And in my office, Girl, I have wait. a chair with a naked butt sweat stain to prove it. I'm not kidding. It's like an ink blot test, that butt sweat stain. Cool. Maybe I'm not down with this week's lesson. Okay. I love this lesson. Pavarotti? When someone dies, die? it hurts. Very astute porcelain. That's a little nugget of wisdom I'd really like to jot down. Terrorists. Mexicans. Mexican. Terrorists. Ants. Mexican terrorist ants. Oh, uh -oh. I, think I think I'm ready now. There is a man who's sort of recently come into my life, and that man is Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's way worse. There were chicken feet in it. <laughs> It was a chicken feet salad. All I want is a normal salad that doesn't have chicken feet in it. Hi, excuse me, do you know Brittany? Sure he is, Brittany. <laughs> yeah, we had sex. Hmm. You're really hot. You're sweet. And your Brittany was on here? Really good. So does yours. 25% show tunes, 25% hip hop, 25% classic rock. 100% gay. You make the underflaps <laughs> of my breasts burn, like when I used to rub them with poison sumac. you could have seen it. She's still going. Sort of like that. What the hell are you doing? Glee is a giant ball of suck. If Kurt's gay and he can do it, then why can't I? Being gay isn't a handicap, Barty. Oh, I got the power too. <laughs> I got the power. You mean? Is this happening? Hey, dwarf. Anyone ever tell you that you dress like one of the bait girls on To Catch a Predator? Also, I'm more talented than you. I didn't the send her to an active girls. crack house. Mm. I'm sorry for sending you to that crack house. Actually, I really want to touch her boobs. One girl ate a pigeon. Several others started worshipping a possum carcass as their lord. I don't brush my teeth. I rinse my mouth out with soda after I eat. I was pretty sure Dr. Pepper was a dentist. I got this, Sam. I seriously wanted to punch both of you. And when I pulled the sandwich out, I saw the face of God. Literally, I had made a grilled Jesus. <laughs> I don't know, I've never had any balls on those. Have you? Anyone sit here? Yes, these seats are currently being occupied by my ghost friends. <laughs> You have more grease in your hair than the guy behind WikiLeaks. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. <laughs> Look at this. See? I'm gonna have to squeeze it. Oh my god. You're out of latex panties, so I got to see through. See? <laughs> Take Jesus. your sick, perverted sex games out of the school. Okay, I think we've had enough of that. You like me sing. You like me sing very much. Me? That's awful. You're awful. Why is she talking to her like that? No way, get out. They stole my shit music <laughs> used for toilet paper. I would have joined in with a kick-ass harmony, but the dude was naked. Hey there, 
sexy lady. <laughs> it's something I really, really want to say to you. I love how you eat your lunch with your little plastic gloves and they crinkle and make the cutest sound I've ever heard in my life. Why don't you pick up some wine coolers and come over here and it'll be just one night of us just getting crazy. Let's just get crazy. Just look really crazy and roll around in the hay. <laughs> As I was just in some hay earlier tonight, hey, and I rode a bull and I was thinking of you. I was playing a marathon round of Halo, woman. Hey, Rich, what's going on? I'm gay. 100% gay. Getting to like you. That kiss did absolutely nothing for him. him out. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> uh, 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 Give me some chocolate or I will cut you. Oh wow. I don't know if it's just me but this one was like hella disrespectful. Like way more disrespectful than Glee Out of Context season one. Like, what did she say? It's like a Jewish cloud or something like that. And then grilled cheeses. Like who would think to say something like that? That's so random. But yeah, y'all, that was my reaction to this video. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next reaction video. Bye.